Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick update to the last video. Uh, many people commented about modding the case or removing the CD-ROM or floppy drive to allow more air you know, in from the front. Now, if this was my main PC back then, then yeah, I probably would have done just that. But uh, in a business setting, it's just not gonna happen. So, um, however, a couple people mentioned reversing the power supply fan. Also, I believe one mentioned rewiring it to seven volts to increase the airflow. Thinking about it, I was curious about how much this would actually help. I mean, it would bring cooler air in, allowing it to spread across the case and have it exit through the CPU fan, you know, like a normal computer. Um, could it be that simple? Well, let's find out. So just to recap on the stock setup, warm air is exhausted by both the CPU fan and the power supply. What works out to be the intake is directly in between the two, and because of its location, it can also, and often does, pull in a lot of the warm, exhausted air. Now, if we flip the power supply fan, theoretically, this would make a whole lot more sense. Cool air would be brought in via the power supply, spread across the case, and then exhausted out the back by the CPU fan. This would also mean that the intake is further away from the exhaust. The question is, would it really work like this, and would the air coming out of the power supply be too hot? and really make it not worth it. So first things first, I removed the power supply and started to disassemble. I'm not gonna get into how to discharge caps or what to look out for, but if you don't know what you're doing, you need to do some research first. Uh, these power supplies, even after being unplugged, can hold enough power to seriously hurt you, so do your homework first. Once I had it apart, I powered it up to test the voltage going to the fan, and it looks like it was just under five volts. I didn't check to see if this changes based on temp, but uh, it doesn't matter because we're going to run, you know, a solid 7 volts to the fan. Now, I did check, and 12 volts obviously works, but it makes the fan a bit too noisy. So 7 is a good in-between. To get 7, we need to run negative wire to the 5-volt rail and positive to the 12-volt. I originally wanted to keep the fan inside the casing, but after thinking about it, I decided to go back and actually mount it externally. Now, this would allow me to connect the fan to the power leads going to uh, the drives, and I could change it to 12 volts if I ever wanted to. It's not the prettiest setup, but again, this isn't final. You know, I'm still playing around and still testing. Once I put the power supply back together and reinstalled it, I ran the wires to the back of the CD-ROM connector, again, between the 5 and 12 volt lines. I also modeled and 3D printed this shroud to help direct more air out of the case from the CPU fan. Now, there's a heat sink in its path underneath, so I couldn't completely enclose it, but hopefully this would at least help some. I'll leave a link to where you can download this if you wanted to. Um, and you're more than welcome to modify it and repost it to Thingiverse. Um, I, it was just something quick I did, so yeah, have at it, have fun. I also placed the thermocouple uh, back into the case in the same location as it was last time, so we can check the case temp. Well, since everything's working, let's close it up and let it cook. I let the PC sit at the desktop idle for about 30 minutes, and as you can see, the temperature is only slightly above room temperature which is an insane difference. Last time, its idle temperature was around 60 degrees and close to 70 when we ran it at full load. What's the temperature this time at full load? Well, it's actually only a tiny bit warmer. This is a crazy difference from before, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't just because the fan was blowing you know, onto the thermocouple. So I loaded up speed fan just to get the hard drive temperature and sure enough, it shows 31C. So the case temp is truly that low. CPU temp, well, this board doesn't allow us to see that, but it's gotta be far lower than before. Now I built a makeshift smoke machine and placed a piece of glass over the top. I wanted to see what the airflow looked like inside the case. Now the smoke fills the case very quickly, but when we run it back in slow-mo, you can see it does exactly what we thought and the air blows over the entire board. Why this wasn't done from the factory, I don't know. Now, I want to thank everyone for their comments and suggestions. Even if I don't reply, I still read all of them. As usual, if anyone has any suggestions or things they'd like to see, let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.